the number 3076 written in standard form is? We have the four options. Which one is the correct answer? Pause the video, attempt the question, and let's compare our answers. All right, now a number written in standard form, also known as scientific notation, must be a number between one and 10, a number between one and 10, multiplied by a power of 10. Now that power may be positive or negative, could also be zero. Hmm, interesting. So the N is an integer. A positive number, a negative number could also be zero. But for this question, let's examine it. We have been given the number 3076. Where is the point in the number 3076? If you do not see it, it's right at the end. Now, what we need to do is to rewrite this number as a number between 1 and 10. It means, therefore, we would have to move the point right after the 3. So we'll have 3.076. So the point has been shifted from here to here. So now we need to multiply by a power of 10. Why is that? Well, because we cannot, we cannot have 3076 being equal to 3.076. The value of this 3 here is 3000, while the value of this 3 is just simply 3, or 3 ones, while this is 3000. Now, in order for us to make the value of this 3, 3000, we'll have to multiply by 1000. How so? Because 3 times a thousand will be three thousand now of course we can rewrite this let's keep this as 3.076 and then write a thousand as 10 to a power what power how many zeros do we have we have three zeros so that's the third power of 10 and so here we have the number written in scientific notation or standard form because if we were to multiply a thousand by 3.076 again the point will shift right back at the end and so we'll have the original number so that we can say 3076 is equal to 3.076 times 10 to the third power